QuickBooks Desktop is one of the go-to solutions for accounting and inventory in not just e-commerce, but brick and mortar businesses everywhere. But popularity doesn't mean that it's easy to manage and keep tidy. QuickBooks Desktop, while being a wonderful option for small, medium, and large businesses alike, also has the reputation of being somewhat clunky, hard to use, and definitely not as user-friendly for newcomers. Intuit has opted to encourage new users to use QuickBooks Online, which is often cheaper, cloud accessible, and most importantly, a little bit more user-friendly. While QuickBooks Online is definitely being brought to the forefront, it's important to acknowledge that the desktop counterpart plays an important role in a lot of businesses day to day, and likely isn't going to be going anywhere anytime soon. So for those that are sticking with the desktop product, there are a few ways that you can manage your company file and keep it in check, which will help you stay organized and ready for any changes or growth in your business. Let's start with how a company file works and what it is. QBD uses two major components to operate. The first is the database, which is an SQL database and is used to store and communicate information from the QuickBooks company file to the servers. The second is the company file, which has a .qbw extension and houses your company information and account info, among other things. The company file's default location is in the C drive, behind your Intuit and QuickBooks directories. QBD or QuickBooks Desktop performance scales with the size of your company file. The more data you have stored in the file, the slower the program will typically run, and this is generally exacerbated by the network being able to handle large data files. Let's get into some of the things that you can do quickly and easily to boost the performance of your QuickBooks company file. Get rid of some of the automatic pop-ups that are turned on by default. You can do this in the preferences setting for multiple areas. You'll want to make sure that you're in single user mode for this change, so make sure everybody saves their progress before doing this. Make your company file smaller. You can start with a fresh company file if you're comfortable doing that, or use something like the Condense Data Utility tool that QuickBooks offers. You don't have to delete anything important, but every little bit counts. If you want to manually clean up some of the data to help speed things up, you can start by deleting old, unused inventory items, get rid of old, unclear transactions, and trim the hedges, so to speak. If I sound like I'm speaking a foreign language here, I've included a link directly from Intuit that explains all of this in detail. You can clean up your data in a few other ways by reducing your database file fragments, resetting your transaction log files, clearing queues of forms and emails, and turning off search indexing. Finally, you'll wanna make sure that QuickBooks is updated, that your computer meets the minimum requirements, and doesn't have any issues outside of QuickBooks like a damaged hard drive or operating system. Remember that a slow network connection, either wireless or local area network, can also impact the data transfer from QB to the server. Check the links in the description for more on what this video covered, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more on all things e-commerce.